How's it going, webheads? My name is Ryan Walsh, and this is the movie review for Kong Skull Island. Just to let you guys know, uh, the first half of this video will be um, spoiler free, but then the end of um, the last half of this will actually contain a lot of spoilers. So I'm just forewarning you, I will put up a little clip basically warning you that there will be spoilers ahead, just to let you guys know. But if you guys want to see my review, make sure to stay tuned. <laughs> So Kong Skull Island. Kong Skull Island basically is just another adaptation of the classic King Kong uh, movies, and they really take a different approach to this uh, this movie. Um, unlike the other ones previous, a lot of the other King Kong movies, you know, uh, just like uh, the one that came out in 2005, basically the damsel in distress, Kong is basically in love with the damsel in distress and tries whatever he can to save her. Um, people go to this island and they find Kong, they bring Kong back, he breaks free, goes on top of the Empire State Building, and then he gets killed by the um, planes. And if you guys are looking for that movie, you're not going to find it here. This is not the original uh, kind of storyline of King Kong. It's completely different. They completely take it in a different direction, which is actually really cool. It's actually really fresh and it's kind of a breath of fresh air because you don't, you don't have to see the same thing over and over and over again. And if you guys didn't know this already, uh, this movie actually is going to be playing in a bigger cinematic universe. Um, and that is not a spoiler in this movie at all. This is actually something that's been confirmed already and Godzilla will be playing a part in this universe as well. So you can take that Godzilla movie that came out um, a couple years ago and now this Kong Skull Island one and put them together because they are in the same universe. And yes, King Kong vs. Godzilla is coming out in 2020, I think. So you guys can be very excited for that. But how I'm going to do this review, uh, the spoiler free one, Basically, I'm going to go through my positives, my negatives, and then my overall thoughts. And basically, uh, telling you in my overall thoughts, should you guys spend your hard-earned money on this movie, and is it worth it? So, let's get into the positives. Positive number one, there was plenty of action in this movie. There's a ton of action. From the very beginning of the movie, like, first few seconds, there's action all the way through the, um, through the end of the movie. It doesn't stop. There's just a ton of action in this movie. And usually it's mindless action but this one it really isn't this is just it's just fun action it has a reason for being there and um you really get that on this island that they're that skull island that they're on it's really a harsh environment and they definitely get it through your head that it's very dangerous being on this island but not taking it too seriously it's a it's it can be dark at times but also takes a lighter tone to, um to this movie and it can have a lot of comedic times that's why um, actor John C. Riley was basically in this movie, telling everybody, this is kind of serious in a way, but also it's a lot of fun. And we're going to put some jokes in here. Some of the jokes, that will go into my negatives, they kind of fall flat, but um, for the majority of them, they don't. They actually are really, really good. And when you meet John C. Riley in this movie, he's the funny guy. He's the funny guy that's uh, given, uh, given all the jokes, and it's, it's really actually really entertaining. And I think you guys would really enjoy that. Another great thing about this movie is if you've seen Godzilla, um, a little spoiler, uh, but most, it's been out for a couple years now, so I, I don't really feel bad about doing this. They really saved the, the Godzilla towards the end of the movie. They don't put him up front and it's like, it's Godzilla. They don't do that. They instead hold him back. And that, that really, in my opinion, that really hurt that movie. But this movie, oh no. Kong is in the movie throughout the entire thing. You see Kong all the time in this movie. They do not hold him back. First few seconds of the movie, or first few minutes, he's in the. He's already in there. He's already in there. Very fast-paced movie in the first 30 minutes. Then it kind of gets slow. It slows down a little bit, but not too slow to bore you. It's more like it's just, you know, it's really just uh, showing you guys uh, everything that, like, happens on this island, what they go through. And it's really well-paced film. Um, you definitely don't get that it's like, oh my god, okay, they're, they're rushing it a little bit, no, and you don't, you don't get bored at all because it's too slow. It's really well paced. If you guys are, if you guys are fans of the first King Kong, well, the one in 2005 that came out, and you know there's a lot of monsters in that movie, well, you're not going to be disappointed with this because there's plenty of monsters on the island in this movie as well, and that is just a great thing that happens because most of the time you don't get that sort of feel for these movies. Sometimes they kind of take back on the monsters. They don't show as many. 
oh no, you get the creepy crawly monsters, you get, you get tons of them, and actually they have their own action scenes as well, whether they're fighting Kong or whether they're fighting uh, just the people trying to survive on the island, doesn't matter. You're getting them all the time, and throughout the entire movie, you're getting different ones. It's not the same one coming at you. Even like the main antagonist in the movie isn't really put in the beginning of the movie when they're first on the island. That's kind of in the that's kind of the end of it. So really, you're getting a bunch of different antagonists as the monsters, and it just continues to go through. And they do it really, really well done way. Now I'm going to go into my negatives. Now there are not as many negatives as there are positives to this movie. The positives definitely outweigh the negatives in this movie. Uh, but I have to address some negatives. There are some things that I didn't really like as much about this movie. And the first thing I will actually that I actually touched upon kind of goes more like 75-25% on this. 75 being that the comedy in this movie actually hit home. It was pretty good. And then like 25% of it really fell flat and it didn't, you know, it, it's kind of that awkward situation where you're in a movie theater and they tell a joke and you're just kind of like, am I supposed to laugh? Because that wasn't funny. It, it, some of the humor didn't really hit home for me. And it really wasn't from John C. Riley most of the time. It was kind of from the other characters. But uh, when John C. Riley's on screen, his comedy is very much there, and it's really, really good. Some of it's a little immature, but honestly, I thought it was still pretty funny. I still had a good time with it, but I'm sometimes immature, so, I mean, it kind of goes with my personality, so it doesn't really matter to me. The biggest complaint I have about this movie is definitely a big one, and there is no real character development with the human characters. They're just kind of there to get you to Kong. That's really what it is. I mean, the only characters that I really cared about was John C. Riley, Tom Hiddleston, and Brie Larson in this movie. Other than that, doesn't really matter. Um, the, like Samuel Jackson, he kind of pissed me off throughout the entire movie. I kind of want him to die. And um, along with like John Goodman, he was in this movie as well. And yeah, he was one of the other characters that pissed me off. A lot of these characters pissed me off. Um, and a lot of the, there was just kind of no-name characters in this as well, but that's okay, that happens in every movie. But there are also a lot of other uh, small actors that were in this, and they kind of had a little bit of a role. But um, whether they died or they lived, doesn't matter. Um, you didn't care if they died or lived. If they died, you kind of like, oh, well, that sucks, oh well, let's keep going. So you didn't care, nobody really cared that they died. And I think that is a major flaw with this movie. They needed to put more time into their characters, maybe put another 20 minutes in or so, and I think they would have done much more justice with those characters. Now getting my overall thoughts about this movie. Should you guys spend your hard-earned money on it? Is it worth the time in the theaters, or should I just wait till it's on on-demand or DVD, Blu-ray, doesn't matter? Um, yes, you guys should. This is a very action-packed movie. It's kind of a summer movie that's put in March, and I, a lot of movies are coming out this month, which is really, really surprising, uh, but every single movie that's come out so far, which has only been two, Logan and this, they've been good, and they've been definitely worth the money to watch these, especially uh, whether it's like 9 to $12 or $15 for admission. Um, should you see it in IMAX? I would even say yes, you should see this movie in IMAX. It's it's definitely one of those movies that's very visual effect heavy, and a lot going on, a lot of action, definitely worth the IMAX 3D admission. I will definitely tell you guys that. And yeah, just go see it, guys. It's a lot of fun. Now to get in my spoiler review, um, I'm going to go into a little bit of spoilers. I won't go too long. This this video is already going a little bit, but I thought maybe I should do a little bit of spoiler talk as well. Since I've already seen the movie, and the movie's been out for a little bit now, let me do my spoiler talk. And if you guys have not seen this movie, do not do the spoilers. There's a lot of cool things that happen in this movie that you guys should just go and see. But if you see it, uh, come back, watch my spoiler review so you guys can get all um, nerdy with me in this and get excited about what's the what happened in the movie. Alrighty, if you're here, you've seen the movie, or if you haven't seen the movie, what are you doing? Go, leave, get get out of here. But let's get into it, guys. So I have to I have to say I have to say that. End credit scene. I know that that's probably going to be on a lot of people's minds right now. That end credit scene. Maybe some people are like, what does it mean? Maybe some people are just like, I totally get what it means. I'm not excited. Or other people are just really excited for it. Well, I mean, first thing is Godzilla is going to, like, they're just connecting Godzilla. And I feel like they did a lot of references to Godzilla in the movie. A little too much in the movie. But I thought the end credit scene was still needed. You need to connect these guys. You need to be like, hey... Godzilla and King Kong are going to be on screen together in the near future. 
So you guys got to get excited about this and our cinematic universe. I think that was very important. And they not only teased Godzilla, which was a really cool thing. They also teased a bunch of Godzilla villains, like the three-headed dragon that I'm completely forgetting. Put it down in the comments, guys, if you know what it is, because I forget the name. I'll probably look it up after this video, though. I know that Mothra is another one, which, personally, that's dumb. I don't want that character, and I'll be honest with you guys, I really don't want that character. But if they can make it cool... I'm totally cool with it. And then they put another character that I really didn't even know who that was. So I'm in that category. I'm not hu I was never huge on Godzilla. So I only saw like the 1990s movie with, um, uh, oh, who was in that? No, uh, whatever. I only saw the 1990s movie with Godzilla. So that's all I have to go off of with that. That's all I really know about it. I've seen a couple like the Japanese old movies, but I didn't really watch those. I was just kind of like, yeah, this is really dumb. But if you guys are into it, totally cool. Another thing that's like, but really, really got me excited about this is, are those, okay, throughout the whole movie, the main antagonist was the big lizards. So I'm thinking in my head, you guys can put this down in the comments, I always want to have like a conversation with you guys about this kind of stuff, but are those lizards, are they basically Do Godzilla? That's what I got from it. I was thinking the whole time when I was seeing those skull crawlers, as they called them, they were Godzilla, like, they're like little Godzillas. And basically, they were kind of teasing that Kong wasn't even fully grown yet. John C. Riley said that in the movie. Kong's not even fully grown yet. And he's still got years. And I was like, oh, I wonder what they're hinting to. He's going to be j even more massive in the, um, in the King Kong vs. Godzilla movie, which is even cooler. I thought the beginning of this movie was really fast-paced when he had John Goodman's character with the other actor that I keep forgetting his name, but I'll probably look it up on IMDb later and be like, wow, why didn't I just remember his name? You see where John C. Riley's character came from at the World War II, World War II background, and they get lost in this... Um, woods and then they finally see Kong as the the Japanese character and John C. Riley's character are fighting you see Kong for the first time and you're just like oh my god and you know I thought that was one of the best parts in the movie because it really got you into it already um, like when I saw the guy falling right at the beginning of the movie I'm just kinda like is this gonna be a joke movie is this gonna be a joke I don't like I don't like when they're joking about this I'm like oh man I really hope they don't and it wasn't once you saw Kong's fist come up like boom boom and he's just like looking at him, he's like, what the fuck are you doing here? That just, that really blew me away. I thought that was super cool. Samuel Jackson's character, oh my god, he pissed me off so much in this movie. I really wanted him to die. And I've never wanted like Samuel Jackson as any character in any of the movies that he's been in that I've seen. I've never wanted him to die as much as I wanted him to die in this. Because he was just, oh, he's just getting me so angry. He just wanted to kill Kong. And I get that you're like, it's one, it's a wild animal. And two, the territory part. Of course, if you're on his territory, he's gonna be pissed. And I totally get that, like, his men died by that. But they were dropping bombs. What do you, what do you think anybody would do? It's like, it's literally human instinct to do that as well. Like, oh my god, they're dropping bombs. Let's kill this guy. You can't just go into a country and do that. So Kong's kind of like, what the hell? You can't just drop bombs. I'm gonna kill you guys. I'm gonna have to take you down. That's what he does. That's what you get, Samuel Jackson. John Goodman's character as well really pissed me off. The, literally, not the whole first half of the movie didn't, but then once they kind of, like, you know, they've gone a little bit in the, the island, Samuel Jackson comes over, puts a gun to him, and he's just like, what the hell's out there? What aren't you telling me? Tell me everything you know. And he's just like, yeah, I knew. It's like, you let all those people die? Okay, why didn't you just... I get that you kept it a secret this whole time, but at the same time... Why didn't you just wait until they got on the island and then be like, okay, there's a giant creature out here, guys. We're already through the storm, but I just want to prove monsters are real. Get a quick pick, get out of there, and then send the cavalry. Why did you do all this? This movie could have been really, really simple, but John Goodman's character kind of screwed it up for all that. I will say, this is kind of a gripe, but I didn't want to put in my negatives of the spoiler-free thing. I wanted to keep it for the um, spoilers. Why was Kong so easily, like, taken down? Like, Samuel Jackson's character, I get it. Like, I get how he took him down. Samuel Jackson's character with a couple other army guys took him out with some napalm and um, some bullets. And I totally get that the original Kong died by getting shot down by a couple planes. But, I mean, I just thought, I thought he, was, he was bigger, but then he kind of was a little weaker as well. I don't know if maybe he was just worn out from the other battles that he already had, and then he comes to this one. But still, he seemed a little weak to me, and I was kind of thinking throughout the whole thing, so he's going to take on King, uh, Godzilla. How is he going to take out Godzilla if he can't even take out a couple people? Because Godzilla in that movie, 
like in Godzilla, you couldn't get a shot on him and he was just, you couldn't kill him because he's just so massive and he has like a ton of armor on. King Kong is still kind of flesh and bone with a lot of muscle, obviously, and giant gorilla, but still, he can still take a, he, he can get hit by bullets and still go through them, obviously, and he'll, he'll still die. And the napalm really screwed him over. So, I mean, if people can kill him, Godzilla should have no problem. But, I mean, once again, they kind of tease that it's like, well, he's not fully grown yet. So we won't really know until the movie. Obviously, they're going to make it even, and they're just going to have him battle. But as of right now, I'm taking Godzilla's side, and I think he's going to win. So, guys, that does it for me with my, um, my spoiler and non-spoiler review. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the movie. Tell me down in the comments below, did you guys enjoy this movie? Did you think it was a fun little March movie that was kind of like a summer blockbuster, but it put into March? Uh, did you guys enjoy the movie? Uh, what did you guys think? What are the best parts about the movie? Tell me down in the comments below guys. I really want to know what you guys think. Thank you guys very much for watching. Bye bye. Alrighty guys, so if you could, if you like this movie review and you want to see more of them, subscribe right over here. I also do reaction videos and some movie news segments as well. So click right over here and subscribe to my channel. My social media links are down in the bottom right hand corner down there and get to my social media. I also have two videos below me that I think you guys would really, really enjoy. Thank you very much for watching this movie review. Until next time, bye bye